Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me on, messaged me on Facebook, which sometimes isn't the uh, smartest thing to do because sometimes I don't look at them, but I happened to catch this one. And they wanted to know how to make this Christmas tree. So you would need a little bit of artistic ability, and I have very little. And it would be a lot easier. So I made one real quick, uh, just real quick. It's not perfect. But, and it would be actually faster and uh, look better with four names. But for the video, I'm just going to use two names. I'm just going to use the word Merry Christmas. So when you have a, the font like that, and all I did was take out the fill uh, and give me a hairline. But you see these lines that are crossed up. So you need to kind of do this in a one particular order. You need to go to object and break artistic text apart and then grab it all, go up to object and convert it to a curve. And when you do that, you can weld it. If you don't do it in that order, you're gonna lose the center of your inner letter like that A or the E. So go to object and break it apart, select it all, convert it to a curve and then weld it. Now, there's three parts of this letter. There's the C, the H, in the T part. We could probably join those right now, but we're not going to, because uh, we might pick a, a snowflake that's gonna fit in there. And this is still all together, so what I'm gonna do is just bring it in here, and I'm gonna rotate it to a 22 and a half degrees. That's just a, a number that's, you know, it's half of 45, so um, you wouldn't want uh, 45. So let's bring them in there and just kind of place them. So I just made a triangle, so actually with the polygon tool to kind of get that shape and kind of get them about where you want them. Now you need a bunch of star flakes. The best place to get them is go to text and go to your, if you have, I think it's, it might even be 18 and above or 17, 17 or below, it's gonna be like insert characters. This is a glyph and if you'll go to and get the font WW Flakes, which is underneath DA fonts. This is free. Just type in WW Flank. There it is. It's easy to download. I've made several videos on how to do that. And just start pulling out ones that you think might work. Some of them are going to work better than others. Uh, I keep wanting to, to zoom in on the symbols. Um, you know, a standard one is maybe going to work better than a complicated one. Let's just, and just grab it with your left mouse button and then expand it out. That one's not going to work as good because it's got those tips on it. You want one like this, maybe one like this. Uh, you want something that's solid and we'll pick one more. You don't want something too fancy. So we'll pick these three or four. Let's expand them out, kind of see what they look like. I guess I only got three. And if you don't ever know if there's one actually invisible, you could kind of select it all. And there is something down here. There it is right there. Maybe I just didn't expand. Some of them will not expand. So we've got these three. Let's take that away and left click, right click to get an outline. And these three will work. So just kind of bring them near your drawing. And I would make multiple copies of them right now. So let's get them a little bit closer together. Control D, make a duplicate. And actually, if you did this, it'd be pretty smart. Size them down a little bit and then Control D, and then they're gonna keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So you won't have to size them down as you go. So we wanna maybe put a star up top. Uh, just go to the star draw you a star, put it up top. And it doesn't, I'm just using this as a reference. We're not gonna use that line, but we need snowflakes to fill in. And this is where if you have any artistic ability or not, and I don't, and I'm actually gonna make a whole copy of the control D just in case we run out of them. And I did a, something wrong right there. So I'm gonna back up till we don't have a copy. Cause if you don't move in the first try, control D, and then you're, sometimes you're gonna have copies on top of copies. So they're actually a little bit too big even here, but let's take a big one and put it down here. And just kinda, you don't have to uh, space them out right this particular minute. 
just kind of get them in there where they're a little bit close and kind of break it up. You know, don't have the same one over and over. And you'll see that you're going to need some of these small ones. And that's why I made a copy. And this is what I was saying, uh, if you have any artistic ability, uh, it'll help you in this immensely, immensely. So what you can do now is just start moving these around where they're all going to touch the words from the top to the bottom, like there's part of the M. Uh, this would actually, if we move this one up a little bit, it'll hit both parts of the M and connect the E and the M together. It's, that might be a little bit weak. Uh, we need to move this up because it kind of connects with that, and then that way would connect with that. Uh, you can, you know, resize these things, and I'm not, you know, this shouldn't be any secret here, what I'm doing, I'm just moving stuff around. So I can visually see it. So now we've got a, the M is touched again. Um, you know, you want it like right there. And I'm going to show you another little thing you can do. And for the time of the video, I'm going to uh, make go a little bit bigger than I normally would. We can control D and make that a duplicate. You could actually rotate it or flip it. You could rotate it 20 degrees and get a different look than the, well, that's probably the exact same rotation as the normal one. And just kind of rotate it around a little bit and, you know, do things like that. And so we've got the M connected together. We need to connect the C and you can do that a number of ways. Um, you know, maybe move this over. And one thing I forgot to do, and I should have done it from the start because I just saw it when I double clicked on it. These are still a text. I need to convert them to a curve, but no harm, no foul. We can do it. So I've got them about where I want them. What I have to do now, because I didn't convert them to a curve, is I have to move everything out of the way with my nudge distance, which isn't terrible because we only have three items and we're about only four inches, so we can make our nudge factor five. <clears throat> and let's nudge out the triangle, which we really don't need anymore. We'll keep it in there for a second. I'm having trouble just getting the triangle. Nudge out of the way, take Mary, nudge out of the way, take Christmas, nudge out of the way. So all these are still a text except for this, but we still need to make it a curve, so we'll select everything go up to object and convert them to a curve that's gonna help you weld it. Now we can take the Merry Christmas and put it in there. And then you would just kind of look around, you know, the star doesn't fit, doesn't have anything to weld to yet. And then you can manipulate, because they're a curve, you can do things like this. And, you know, make it, um, basically all you're doing, you're welding it together so it won't break. Now, I don't like that right there, so we can just delete this node. And we're since we're so close here, why don't we just bring the star down a little bit to touch there, and it's gonna to be touching two places. And then you would want these two to touch. And just take, take that and elongate it. I mean, it's a snowflake, no two are perfect or no two, they're all perfect. No two are identical. You might want these two touching. So we're just moving nodes around. And if you do this before, now the only thing we really have to do is that eye in the Christmas. Cause, well, it's gonna work, that's perfect. But we could bring this down. So I'm just grabbing the shape tool. Now I got part of the R, so let's back out. You wanna make sure you only get that part of the letter so you move it down. Uh, the C is kind of connected, you know, twice. Uh, this is only connected once right here. And the S is, you know, probably breakable. You've got to think about breakage. And let's just take it up here. Don't go past that other line. And you, it is a snowflake, so you don't have to, you know, they can be funny looking. You can take and delete those nodes. I don't really like that, but for the video, that's fine. I think we've got everything covered except for maybe right in, and this is where you could fill in smaller ones. We need a smaller one, you know, like right in here. We've used that one too many times. Um, bring it in here. 
you just kind of fill this in. You don't want to really distort the A too much. That looks pretty good. And then just grab it all and hit your well key. Now, the way to find out if it worked is take your smart fill tool. Let's zoom in. Now, I didn't put a base on it yet, but that's easy. And then just grab part of it. And you'll see real quick that I didn't miss anything. Then what's so good about this, you go, well, this is kind of a blank spot. Let me back up. So you want to back up to a non-welded item. And then, you know, you could even make your own snowflakes. And if it's a center one, it could be definitely um, smaller. You know, you don't want it too much into those other snowflakes. So we could actually go a little bit smaller. Basically, you're just filling in, and that's going to be pretty good. Now, this would be a good one to show. Take the shape tool, and remember, I didn't make it a curve yet, so you'd be smart to make them all a curve, and then grab this whole thing and put it up in here. It's just elongated. Now, go back to the weld tool and weld it. Take the smart fill tool, find a spot to fill it in, and bam -o, it worked. Now, if you've gotten to a point where the weld tool's gone, you can't weld anymore, because uh, once you've welded it, and then you need to add something, you can't really do it. So we need to take this, I'm gonna left click, right click, and if you wanted to put a bottom on it right now, and I'm not gonna go through the time of making a pot, um, I don't know if you're gonna hang this on a wall or stand it up, so it doesn't matter, just make your own. So we just need to make the bottom of the Christmas tree, kind of get it in line with the thickness and everything. And then just take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. Delete this line. Whoop, I might've got the bottom line. Um, yeah, I did. And you could try welding it, but a lot of times it's not gonna work. And this is, my virtual segment leak key is awful slow tonight. Well, let me just get back to where we were and I'm just gonna show you that it might not weld. So grab that, hold down the shift key, grab the tree and weld it. And it worked partially. That's what I was saying, it doesn't really work, but it did get rid of that line between there. So now just take your smart fill tool and fill that in and that's your bottom. Now we've got a leak somehow right up in here that we caused by that second weld. I don't know where it is. Um, that's why I don't like to weld again. And so you could back completely up to where we don't have that. It's already welded and just take your smart fill tool and just use the uh, virtual segment delete key and it won't cause those problems. That looks pretty good for like a what, five minute little um, segment and it, it, look, it would really look better with four names. And you know, if you really looked at it and didn't do some of these parts, um, you know, maybe you, that one of these pictures had more stars in it. Uh, see, it's got stars through it, might help. Uh, this one actually has some in little bitty ones and got some engraved features. Then I might do a second video on how you could, it's a terrible picture, but I can kind of see that there's like a baby doll there and it looks like even a, a Christmas bell, a Christmas tree ball. And there's actually a star that's been cut out you know, it just has edges. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.